You already know what time it is. What's going on? Hey, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys found my channel, if y'all new, how y'all doing? I do reactions and I do vlogs. I have not did my first vlog yet. I'm working on that, but right now we're doing some reaction videos. But I hope you guys stick around and enjoy this video. I'm gonna keep the intro short, so we'll just get it rolling. And I'll catch you guys in the reaction. Alrighty, let's go. Of the dead. Paranormal investigators Jeff and Phil from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations are the first ghost hunting team to ever be allowed to explore and investigate the infamous Mount Fitchett Church near Stansted, Mount Fitchett, England. Ooh, the church England itself it. has stood for over 900 years and is surrounded by an ancient graveyard. The burial ground is the final resting place for some entire families, as well as wealthy lords of the past and soldiers who perished in battle long ago and many different wars. With hundreds of years of dark history, it's no surprise that the church is said to be extremely haunted. Visitors claim to hear sounds and voices and a photo was captured of what appears to be two shadow figures sitting in one of the pews. What? The Mount Fidget Church was closed and abandoned in 1967. The Ghost Tech team sets up a few static cameras and sits down to ask some questions of any spirit that might be present. When Phil asks for a sign, Something seems to answer. Oh, could you make yourself known? Either by talking to us, shouting your name, or banging on something, or moving something. Could you do that now for me, please? Dude, it's like footsteps. That was definitely footsteps. Yeah. That was like a whole like woman no walking. Like when you're high heels outside. walking. No one for a, you know, it's just countryside. There's no one around here. That was footsteps inside on the floor. And it was right down there at the back where the door is. That's crazy. the enhanced audio taken from our static cam facing the chancel. Oh, yeah, it's like a woman walking with high heels. That was definitely footsteps. Yeah. If you'd like to communicate with us, please do so. We don't mean you no harm or disrespect. Earlier on, we heard mm -mm. they were like talking. Oh, I thought I was going to move. We both hear a voice come from I the knew opposite it. end of the church. Oh man! But even after enhancing uh, the distant voices. voice. We cannot make out what is being said. Earlier on, we heard... Yeah, I don't know what that was. The two friends hear the sound of footsteps and a soft voice coming from somewhere inside the church. That's crazy. Later, as day turns to night, the team sets up static night vision cameras to continue recording. What happens next is truly bizarre. Can you hear us? I ask if any of the spirits can hear us, and we receive a response as there is loud banging as we enter the chancel. Here is the enhanced audio. Banging? Can you hear us? Oh. Man. All right. This is crazy. I probably could not do this. 
Go to like a chapel and do this? Nah, fam. We end our first session, and unknown to us at the time, our Static Cam 1 is capturing a shadow figure moving within the chapel. What? Nah, I th that could be some, that could be them too. The shadow of the like, camera equipment could be causing it. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm really, I'm iffy about that one. That is crazy. A loud sound can be heard and their static camera captures the shadow moving in and out of sight in one corner. Now it's worth mentioning that investigators Jeff and Phil are far away and walking in the opposite direction. So whatever this shadow is, it couldn't have been cast Wait. by either of them. Exactly. Now the story doesn't Like I said, I, I kind of believe that one, I don't know. Up there because the ghost tech guys aren't the only ones who seem to have captured strange paranormal evidence at the Mount Fidget Church. Really? Little over a year ago, 42-year-old Stephen Rigoli was hit by a train and lost his life near the old Mount Fitchett Church. A hiker captured something on camera near the train tracks. Something downright chilling. A terrifying pale translucent figure. What the fuck? can be seen drifting through the air on a path bro oh you can see his face near the church look at that so could it be oh that my damn church is truly haunted it's all glowing eyes and everything and oh evidence of damn that oh. still walk the church grounds let me know what you think you can watch this what? entire video and you saw how close it was that will be coming soon over on the youtube channel ghost tech Paranormal Investigations. The Tower of Terror. You know it's crazy? You can hear like water trembling. I don't know if it was in front of him or behind him, but you can like hear water like trembling like he was getting out of the water. In what's supposed to be the happiest place on earth, an ominous mock grand hotel towers above the awestruck happy crowd below. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror in Disney's California Adventure Park is a free fall ride that's dedicated to the popular TV show, The Twilight Zone. What? Now over the years, the Tower of Terror attraction became known for one particularly creepy real life ghost story. It is said that a Disney cast member suddenly suffered a massive heart attack and passed away while welcoming guests onto the ride. What? Many visitors and employees claim to have seen his ghost and have reported random noises and flickering of the lights, even when the ride is not in operation. Ugh. Sam Worth was visiting the park and recorded videos to capture the fun trip with his family. To his surprise, he also captured something he did not expect at the Tower of Terror. Whoa. No, wait. No, 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 no. That had to be a hologram. That, no, nah, that, that was clear as day. That had to be a hologram or edit. There's no way they just captured a clear visual of a freaking person. Cause you know, these ghost adventure people don't catch anything on their freaking cameras. But you know, when there's, People like him or her, oh, they just find someone just like that? What? Nah, that can't. A strange Hold on. translucent apparition can be seen on one of the levels at the Tower of Terror. Now, many of Sam's viewers believe the figure to simply be another hologram on the ride. Exactly. But I looked through hours of footage of this ride on YouTube, and I have not found any evidence of there being a hologram at this particular spot on the ride. In fact, this is the area on the ride where a picture is taken of the guests. Like, like, look behind him so like the this. the apparition what? remains a mystery. Attachment. 
Ooh, Paranormal investigator Jordan from the YouTube channel Paranormies says that he believes some dark alien spirit has what? attached itself to him after one of their investigations. So, back during an investigation at a haunted church in Canada, Jordan and fellow investigator Johnny accidentally let go of a Ouija board planchette without saying goodbye. Oh, bro, Which why legend you do that? around the board says that you're never supposed to do. Yeah, you're never supposed to Jordan do that. Jordan says that with every paranormal investigation since, something seems to be surrounding him and even physically attacking him. Even Whoa. more disturbing, the entity seems to have followed him home. The investigator has experienced trouble sleeping, continuously waking up throughout the night, and he says he feels drained of energy each day. One night, Jordan wakes up in what he believes to be a state of sleep paralysis, and he sees a woman with long dark hair watching him from his bedroom door. The woman disappears, but since then, Jordan says he has seen the woman many times from the corner of his eye. Mm. Disturbed by what's happening to him, he decides to spend a few nights in his parents' RV, away from his home and family. He wants to confirm once and for all if a strange presence is truly attached only to him. It did not go well. The first night, nothing much happens. But the second night, Jordan begins to hear something very frightening. Ugh! What the f I'm back in the way. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but I've been hearing that all night. I can barely get to sleep. A strange, unexplained static sound seems to resonate throughout the entire RV, and Jordan is unable to pinpoint exactly where the noise is coming from. He just played the radio. It almost sounds like a voice is trying to break through the static. And the next night, it just gets worse. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Get the crap out of me. Oh, that door. No, nah, that he that ghost is playing with you. Terrifying experiences in the RV, Jordan returns home. But back in his house, his little dog Zeus seems to be very disturbed by something Jordan can't see. Jordan picks up his camera and begins the to dog film. At? What's wrong? Something there? Oh, this is a dog. I see him. Like, look at the dog. Oh. Is this what's going on? Right? Oh, oh, oh. Fuck no. Oh, Little no. Zeus sees something and jumps back in fear. What happens next is downright chilling. What? The doorbell Whoa. goes off?
Why did the sun just go like that? Object was thrown against the window? What the fuck? What the Are fuck? you following me? That's a demon, bro. That's a straight demon, bro. That's a straight demon, bro. Don't well, get your dog. A reflection of the window, Jordan sees someone or something staring back at him from bro. around the hallway corner. Uh -uh. He quickly pans around, but no one there. When he walks into the hallway, he hears a growl, and the bathroom door swings open and a bath towel falls to the floor. This is when Jordan has just had enough for a while and decides to leave and stay over at the home of friend and fellow investigator Johnny. So what do you think is happening to Jordan? Could something dark and sinister truly be stalking yes. him? Yes. Let me know. Yes. And he needs to get a priest, he needs to get baptized or the fuck the no holy water. In the comments. Oh no, holy water's not gonna help me anyway. He needs to read something. Video with even more paranormal events over That's why you never channel, fuck with paranormies. A Ouija board. That stuff like that will happen. Coming soon. The man who wasn't there. Ooh. Paranormal YouTube channel Fourth Wall received oh, a video from a man wall. that says he captured something very disturbing in a quiet Why don't I watch them, but I've seen it before. It's late at night and no one is around when the men spot something strange going on with a swing set in a nearby park. He's a little freaked out and believes he might be experiencing something paranormal. So he places his work phone on top of a tall playset and sets it to record. He then takes his personal phone and films as he approaches the swing set. What? This is going and going. A single swing is violently swaying back and forth. But that's not all the anonymous man has captured. Because his work phone recorded something absolutely terrifying. What? Oh, whoa, no, fam, no, wait, who, whoa, um, my dude, there's a dude right next to him. No, wait. There's, like, no one here. Look, look, hold on, where's that? Look, literally no one there. But when this, what? ...of a man can be seen standing motionless in front of a tree. Now, what makes this footage so disturbing is that, as you can see, there's no one there. The other phone didn't capture anyone standing there what? at all. Could it be that the park is haunted and a dark spirit apparition was caught on camera? What do you think? It's fucking creepy. You can watch this entire creepy video and many more over on the YouTube channel. Fourth Wall. Fourth Wall. Yes, sir. Oh, why the audio is turned up like that? The orphanage. Paranormal investigator Luis Manuel Mote and cameraman Odin set out to explore an abandoned orphanage in the middle of a forest. Well, that's they a smart idea. Lost their lives here under very strange circumstances, and then others who stayed here claimed to experience terrifying paranormal activity. The large buildings of the orphanage were eventually all just abandoned. Luis and Odin begin to explore the orphanage grounds, and they start to hear some very strange things. Look at that big old camera he got. All that stuff he's walking around with. Could you see? Oh. Oh, did I be It sounds like It sounds like a kid crying. Or whimpering. A 
creepy moan can be heard coming oh, from somewhere moan. on the property. Luis and Odina are a bit freaked out by the bizarre sound, but continue to explore. That's when things take a terrifying turn. Ese centro para qué ocuparían? Oh no, is that a witch rule? Pues quién sabe qué. Para qué lo ocuparán todo este rollo, güey, pero. Ah, no inventes, o dino, dino, dino. Te juro que entra. Yeah, see that? Hay alguien allá dentro. You saw that? That dude, there's a guy literally walking. Or someone walking. What the? Was a dog? <laughs> is that their dog? Yeah, there's a little the right there. spot someone or something walking past a window right in front of them. They run inside, but there's no one there. <laughs> After a long night of exploring, Luis and Odin decide to call it a night and head home. After many requests from their viewers, the Terror Alex Dream team decide to go back to the orphanage one more time. And this time, the unexplained terrifying activity only seems to intensify. What? Oh, fuck no. Oh, no. What the fuck was that? Hold on. That sounded like a straight oh demon. He's just dying. Nope. Oh, no, fam. You guys, right, you had a dip about it. That, ball, that was a scream that I know for a fact that they heard in their ears. Luis and Odin feel like something might be watching them from the darkness. Even though they feel surrounded by an entity that they can't see, they continue exploring. As they walk through a field to get to another building, they both see something that makes their blood run cold. What do they see? Right there? So a little white down by the tree? Oh! That's maybe the girl that screamed. It almost looks like someone dressed in white is walking through the building on the hill in front of them. Mm -hmm. They hurry to the structure to investigate, but find nothing. <laughs> they bring their dog However, with them. as they walk out of the building and look down the hill in front of them, they encounter another chilling surprise. That's tree. Never mind. What the frick is that? They go after it? It looked like a snake walking. Oh, slithering. Where's our dog at? Hey, hey, yo, where's your dog at? Hasta se movió las ramas. Se vio como se subió aquí, Odin. What? It was crawling. Ugh. ramas se movieron. A strange, elongated, trailing white shape seems to float across the field and disappear into the bushes. What? Again, the friends run over to investigate, but find no sign of what they captured on camera. I will not investigate. If I saw it, so, I'll be like, I saw it. Luis I ain't going over record there. video evidence of some of the paranormal activity that drove everyone away from the orphanage? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? No, nah, that's real. You decide. That's real. You can watch this entire two-part series with many more paranormal moments that I didn't feature here over on the YouTube channel, Terror Alex Jamo. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram. Follow this boy on Instagram. Oh, if you guys enjoyed this little little video, hit the like button. And if y'all are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It's really easy. All you gotta do is log into your email if you don't have a YouTube account. Hit the subscribe button. There should be a bell right next to the, the subscribe button. Hit that. 
you should not miss out any of my content because YouTube doesn't really like to share out videos no more without hitting the bell. So if you guys want to check out more of my videos or see what I upload, hit that bell. And I hope that I can catch you guys in my next reaction or whatever video I do next. But I'm out. I'm going to edit this. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'm out. I'm on a jet, it's private. That boy playing around. Yeah, he working on that. How much you spent in Prada? I don't know.